NCM Learning Center. Friends, now I am going to discuss about what will happen when the ammeter is wrongly connected parallel with the load to measure the load current. I have an ammeter. I need to measure the load current. I am going to use the ammeter to measure the load current. Instead of connecting the ammeter in series with the load, wrongly connected parallel with the load. What will happen? What, what, what will be the ammeter readings? Whether it is zero value, or it is maximum value, or it will damage. So now we will discuss. Before that, you should know about the what will be the internal resistance of the ammeter. Then only you can get an idea about when the ammeter is connected wrongly parallel with the load. What will happen? Okay. So first we will discuss the what will be the internal resistance of the ammeter. For an ideal ammeter, for a good quality ammeter, the internal resistance of the ammeter should be zero. Okay, but practically not possible. Practically, the ammeter value, internal resistance value will be minimum uh, 30 ohms or 40 ohms or 50 ohms. Okay, so uh, before purchase the ammeter, you should check the internal resistance of the meter. Okay, uh, if the internal resistance of the meter is very minimum, the quality of the ammeter is very high. Okay, so um, so try to purchase the ammeter very low resistance ammeter. How, sir? The internal resistance of the ammeter is zero. Let us take three ammeter A, B, C. Maybe the ammeters will be different manufacturing companies or different uh, type of meters. Okay. The internal resistance of the A meter is zero. Let us take A ammeter is zero ohms. C ammeter is 45 kilo ohms. Okay. Let us take the three ammeters. Let us take a simple circuits. This is a very, very simple circuits. Uh, what will be the current flow through the circuits? The current flow through the circuit is 1 amps because based on Ohm's law, I is equal to V by R, V is equal to 5 volt, R is equal to 5 ohms, so I is equal to V by R, so 5 by pi is equal to 1 amps. Current flow through the uh, load 5 ohm resistor is 1 ampere. Okay. Now I am going to use the ammeter, the 3 ammeters uh, in the circuits. Okay. First, the A ammeter is used to measure the current. I am going to use the meter in series with the load. Okay. The A ammeter, internal resistance of the A ammeter is 0. The load is 5 ohm. What will be the total resistance of the circuits? The total resistance of the circuit is 5 plus 0 ohms. Because the meter resistance is 0 ohm, load resistance is 5 ohm. Okay. 5 plus 0 is equal to totally 5 ohms. What will be the current flow? What will be the meter reading? The meter reading will be I is equal to V by R. So, 5 V is equal to 5 volt, R is equal to 5 ohms, so I, I is equal to V by R 1 amps. The meter reads 1 amps. Okay. Actual current flow through the circuit is 1 amps. The meter reads also 1 amps. So, exactly correct. No error. Okay. If B ammeter is used in the circuits to measure the load current, what will happen? If the VM meter is used in series, the internal resistance of the meter is 5 ohms. Internal resistance of the meter is 5 ohms. So, total resistance in the circuit is 5 plus 5 is equal to 10 ohms. Based on Schizoff's voltage law, the current flow through the circuit is I is equal to V by R. So, B is equal to 5 volt, R is equal to 10 ohms. So, 5 amps. The meter will read 5 amps. But the actual current in the circuit is 10 1 amps. When we use the meter, the current flow through the circuit is reduced to 5 amps. So the meter reads 50 percentage error. Okay. So we cannot use this meter. If the load resistance is 5 ohm, the PM meter cannot be used. Because the actual current is 1 amps, but meter shows 5 amps, 50 percentage error. Okay. If the load resistance is 1 kilo, if the load resistance is 1 kilo, we may use the BM meter, the meter error will be a minimum value. Okay. But the load resistance is, if load resistance is minimum, we should use the ammeter very, very, very less resistance meter. Okay. If C ammeter is used to measure the current, what will happen? The resistance of the C meter is 45 kilo ohms. So the total resistance of the circuit is 45 thousands plus 5, 45 thousand 5 ohms total resistance of the circuit. So the current flow through the circuit meter is I is equal to V by R. So, 5 by 45,005 ohms, so 0.11 milliamps. The meter reads 0.11 milliamps instead of 1 amps. 
very very huge error more than 90 percent error so for our circuits we cannot use the b meter as well as c m meter because the actual current is one ampere but the meter shows b and c meter shows very wrong readings but a meter shows very exact readings okay so the internal resistance of the meter should be and zero ohms if the internal resistance of the meter, meter is zero ohms the uh, accuracy of the meter is 100 percentage very good quality meter okay okay now we will go for the first questions if the ammeter is connected parallel with the load what will happen okay if the ideal ammeter is connected parallel let's take the circuits this is 5 ohms the circuits the ammeter is connected parallel shorted because the ammeter internal resistance is 0 ohm 0 ohm means short 0 ohm means short okay so the ammeter is equivalent to that 0 ohm short circuits because the internal resistance of the meter is 0 ohms okay now what will be the total resistance the total resistance of the circuit is 5 parallel with 0 ohms the 5 ohms parallel with 0 ohms this is total resistance so if the two resistance are parallel r1 and r2 resistance are parallel what will be the total resistance 1 by r total is equal to 1 by r1 plus 1 by r2 otherwise r total is equal to r1 into r2 divided by r1 plus r2 this is the total resistance for the parallel circuits if the two resistance are in series r total is equal to sum of the two r1 plus r2 okay but here parallel so the total resistance is equal to 5 parallel with 0 is equal to 5 into r1, r1 into r2 divided by r1 plus r2 so 5 into 0 divided by 5 plus 0 0 by 5 0 ohms the total resistance of the circuit is 0 ohms what will be the current i is equal v by r b is equal 5 volt r is equal 0 ohm infinite current the current flows to the circuit is infinite current definitely the meter will be damaged infinite current is very very huge current okay so definitely the meter will be damaged if the meter resistance internal resistance is 0 ohms okay if the internal resistance is somewhat 1 ohms or 2 ohms means maximum huge amount of current will flow huge amount of maximum current will flow the meter reading will be maximum if the meter withstand the maximum current it will not damage okay but it shows maximum value. this is the answer for this question so thank you thanks for watching click the subscribe button and click the bell icon for notification like comment and share